Hi, Jason Ford back here with part two of the salmon uh, trolling fly video. And this part focuses on how to tie yourself a harness for your flies. So the harnesses I like to use is a two hook system with a treble hook at the back and the front hook is just a single uh, siwash or octopus hook they call it. So what you're going to need is obviously some good strong hooks. These are size one VMC 4X strong treble hooks. Make sure you're buying at least 3X or 4X strong hooks, guys, because there's no sense in having your cheap hooks bend out on you. I've got a 3 aught Gamma Gatsu. You can use 4 aught as well. Um, this is an octopus hook, so this will be the first hook. You're going to want a few beads. These go in between the two hooks. They help uh, complement the fly color. They also help uh, keep those two hooks from getting tangled. And 40-pound fluorocarbon line is what I like to use for all my, uh, my flies and all my meat rigs. So to get started, we're going to tie the a snell knot onto our octopus hook. Now give yourself about 10 inches of tag end here and the snell knot I like to, there's a few styles of snell knots but the one I like to tie is uh, we make a loop at the back and we wrap forward towards the eye of the hook. So about 10 wraps forward seems to be uh, adequate for this diameter line. Okay, so then we're going to switch hands here and feed the tag end back through the loop and just apply a bit of moisture and pull tight. Now normally what we're going to do with a, with a snell knot is slide it up to the eye of the hook and we're going to do that, but right now we're going to slide it onto the bend. And the reason we do this is because you want this to be a short rig when it's finished and if you try and tie the treble hook on with the snell knot up at the eye, you're going to find yourself poking yourself in the fingers here. And you're going to end up with a rig that's too long. So we're going to slide our beads on now before we tie on our treble. And you'll find that the treble hook, when you buy your flies in the store, often has a snell knot tied around the shank as well. That's a great knot and it keeps the, the hook straight off the back of the fly. But the problem with a snell knot is oftentimes when you hook the salmon, all three hooks end up in the fish. It becomes very difficult to get your pliers in there on the bend and you'll find that you have to grab the shank. Now if you've got a snell knot tied around the shank, you're going to damage that snell knot, rendering that fly useless and that's the fly that just caught you a fish. So you're going to have to sit in the boat and spend the next few minutes re-rigging or hope that you have another one ready to go. So the knot I like to use here is called the double O slip knot. So we feed through the eye of the hook getting as close to the beads as we can because we want this to be a really small knot, not using up too much line. And we make two O's, or loops. And we're going to feed this tag end back through both loops. And we're going to apply a little bit of moisture. And we're going to pull tight. And this is a slip knot, so it slips into place. And this is where we pull the snell knot back up to the eye. And you'll see we have a nice short rig. So that's the advantage of keeping it down at the bend before you tie the treble hook on. Now the other thing we need to do is ensure that the length of our, our uh, fly is, is the right length to get the right action off the back of the flasher. So I have a meter stick here. I like to make all my flies anywhere from 20, 18 to 24 inches in overall length. So I'm going to cut this fly here at 24 inches today. And there you go. I've got a, I've got a harness ready to go, ready to fish. Now, I like to put a snap swivel on all my harnesses. Uh, some guys like to tie a loop knot. But before you do either, make sure you slide your fly on the rig. And there you are, you're ready to fish. So I hope you found these two videos helpful, whether you tie your own flies or whether you're re-rigging the flies you purchased in the store. Hope this helps you get more fish in the boat this year.